So in today's video, I typed in Zenith on the mod browser and installed every mod that added in some Zenith type weapons. And then I hopped into my world here and we're going to be testing these Zenith type weapons on some bosses. Now we got a decent amount here. We got a good bit all from a bunch of different mods as you can see. Well, most of them from more Zenith items, but some of them from not just that mod. As we see, we got the greatest for last right here, the toilet, of course. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's snag a bunch of these weapons and let's see him in action a ham axe i don't know how a ham axe is gonna do against some bosses but you get the idea let's just let, let's grab all of them you know i usually just grab a bar full let's grab all of them so the goal here is to fight all the main bosses in terraria and you know we're gonna see if the weapon stacks up against the bosses our first boss is gonna be the king slime obviously so let's use this ham axe the ham axe as you see he's got some good axe power he's got some good range he's got some good hammer power i guess before we fight a boss with it let's go ahead just just test it out here Oof. beautiful destroyed everything quickly and let's see it against some walls too just a beautiful noise my favorite hearing noises like this in terraria but yeah with that said and done let's go ahead let's run back over here and let's take on the king slime let's see we're playing on normal mode here let's just see dang okay okay i did not expect that honestly you know a good start a good start zenith amex you did great now we got two short swords here we got one literally from a short sword mod and then we got one from the more items one and the short sword one by itself does more damage than this one it says right click to shoot homing short swords left click to swing the short sword all right oh okay so we got like the little zenith attack but short honestly expected and then let's see the right click here okay so we literally just throw a bunch of short swords are there nice that honestly is probably not gonna do too bad against the eye cthulhu can we kill the eye before it runs away yes we can that was with the right click now let's see it with the left click oh the left click really not that bad let's do a combo of both nice so even though its base damage is lower than this one it still does great damage all right from the next short sword we're gonna fight both the brain and the eater let's fight the brain straight up and okay i forgot he's gonna run away all right eater it is you know i always like the eater anyways let's just kind of see the attack okay it's got a nice little unique attack at the very least but let's put it against the eater can we kill the eater wow well it's the eater so i can't get too hyped about killing him like that but still not too bad let's go ahead let's let him stretch out a little bit give him a couple of times to grow out you know he's a grower not a shower like most of us now let's see it in action it still does great damage like you know i, I didn't think it was gonna have a problem with the eater but obviously a little slower since it takes a while to hit all his pieces all right i do have some crimson over here let's go ahead let's bring in the brain and it should honestly be the same outcome, maybe even faster than the stretched out eater. Dang. Okay, yeah, pretty fast. All right, we got the queen bee going against the zenith boomerang. Throws all boomerangs you collected, and then it says your body shakes. I, I don't know why. <laughs> Look at that. Honestly, it's what I expected. Ooh, and it kind of stays out too. And you can drag them around. Very cool. I'm interested to see this against the queen bee. Let's just start by just throwing them out of it. Okay. I was going to say, let's just start by throwing them out at her to wait for them to add up. Killed her pretty quickly. Let's try it this time. I'm going to have to actually avoid her. I just want to get a bunch of them gathered together and then use it on her. Pretty fast kill as expected. It better be a fast kill. All right, we're going against Skeletron. Skeletron is going to be going against the Zenith Scythe. Throws and shoots all sickles you collected. Beautiful. Music to my ears. Let's see it in action. This should be a nice and quick kill yes sir i was gonna say let's test daytime skeletron but no i don't think that's gonna work out too well all right the next one lost fractal an amalgamation forged with blades that were once bound to new forgotten warriors so this is the zenith alt as you can see right there by the mod's name this one pretty cool shoots out some cool little projectiles uh we're gonna be going against the deer clops with this one so hopefully this one can manage Ooh, i'm not even doing anything this is already a S tier weapon. I love weapons where I just get to sit there and do nothing. So I didn't even know it was going to do that. But let's see it with the left click attack now. Ooh, very colorful. Honestly, might be cooler than the original Zenith. Now, the original Zenith, it's got some charm to it. But honestly, that attack right here is just insane. Visually cool and also does a good amount of damage all right next up we got the fiesta the power of dart shoots all darts you collected we all know the crimes you did on parties i don't even know what the hell that means 
<laughs> Valesian in action. Very nice. Shoots out all the darts. You know, dart weapons are underrated? Question mark? Not really. Properly rated, maybe? There's maybe like one or two of them that are underrated. We going to hell, though. Let's get to it. Wall of Flesh. What's up? How good is the Fiesta? Pretty damn good. Great damage. Got rid of the Wall of Flesh very fast. Let's see it again. It's amazing. Honestly, I expect the majority of these to be amazing, so I'm not too surprised. But next up, we got the Xena Staff. This one, I expect to be amazing too. Your body starts getting stronger. Shoots all bolts from the staffs you collected. The Queen Slime is about to get a taste of the Xena Staff. Let's see it in action. Ooh. A whole lot of projectiles as expected. You know, it is a mage staff. I expect a lot of projectiles from mage weapons, period. Very cool, though. I like this one a lot. All right, the next weapon gets the honor of killing all three mech bosses. Last Spectrum. Cast various spells. Nothing can stop you now. Let's see it in action. Cool. Shoots out pretty much like all the projectiles, spell tomes, and stuff. I do have to mention that the More Zenith Items mod does actually add in a lot of stuff, as you can see here. So if you want to do a playthrough with it, man, there's a lot of stuff. I might even be missing some items. But as you can see, it adds in a lot of stuff. I'm assuming there's some work in progress stuff coming out. As you can see, there's whips. So probably there's going to be a Zenith whip. There's flying knives maybe a flying knife zenith weapon or that's just a part of the boomerang one a lot of stuff a lot of cool stuff but yeah let's fight the mech bosses here let me go ahead and make it nighttime boom hopefully it isn't too dark let's bring out the twins i expect honestly quick kills this is really not that quick i was expecting a lot faster mage class is always a great class definitely one of the uh, top four to classes all right let's bring out the destroyer should die quick because he's all crumpled up. And then last but not least, Mr. Skeletron Prime himself. Once we break a bunch of his hands, the fight should go a lot faster. But you know, maybe it's not doing that much damage because I'm not wearing armor. Some classes definitely depend on armor more than others. Plantera is up next and Plantera, shoot, we'll throw the Golem in there. Plantera and the Golem are going against the Zenith Yo-Yo. Shoots all the Yo-Yos I collected. I expect just me wielding 80 Yo-Yos. Oh yes. Now this, I can see me installing this if I ever do another Yo-Yo playthrough. This is what I want to see at the end of a Yo-Yo playthrough. I have mastered all the yo-yos let's use them against plantera wow i expect way more damage than this come on we got the terror yo-yo in here whatever the hell is called terrarian that's what it's called and that thing alone i feel like probably would have killed plantera faster ah, it does 190 damage all right golem might as well just beat up the two jungle bosses with the same weapon because i don't know how many weapons we only got a handful left so uh, i kind of gotta spread them out a little bit here all right we're down to our final three i believe hopefully i didn't miss any we got the bow we got the flamethrower we got the toilet toilet is being saved for last flamethrower you're up next now the party really starts shoots multiple streams of pure light whoa this one is very very bright i kind of want to see it at night how does it look at night yes sir lights up the area all right let us fight duke Mr. Duke Fish one go ahead and pop out and I'm gonna burn you to death. Wait, hold up. Hold up. He's a water type and I'm using fire type. Not the greatest. If Pokemon has taught me anything, that's ineffective. Still killed him though. All right, we got the bow. I expect greatness from the bow. Okay, this looks like possible greatness. So I am going to fight the Empress of Light. I'm not going to fight the Cultist because I don't want pillars to spawn in in this world. So let's fight the Empress of Light. Daytime Empress of Light. It don't matter. I'm in God mode. Try and kill him. The damage on the bow, not the craziest. This is one of the tougher enemies or tougher bosses in the game. But I expected a little bit more damage. Maybe it's the arrows we're using. Maybe it's because I don't have accessories or armor. But hey, some of the other weapons were doing great damage for not having any accessories or armor. Honestly, the regular Zenith isn't even killing her faster. Maybe the Zenith tier items are just getting outscaled, you know? They're supposed to be these all-time great weapons, but they're getting outscaled. Mod developer, you, you gotta work on that. But there's no way that this thing gets outscaled. The Zenith toilet, look at this. The toilet of gods. Look at my character. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my god, that is greatness. We could also place it, and it gets really tiny when you place it. A little bit upsetting, honestly. I wanted it to be like this giant throne that I could sit on. I gotta do a quick test here, of course, make sure that this works. Now that's greatness. We want to talk about goats, greatest of all time. This toilet right here. And I know Terraria developers have been talking about adding poop blocks to the games. Come on. 
You got the poop in the toilet, you might as well add in the poop blocks. All right, I do want to see if this does damage. You know, the toilet just sitting there does damage. It shoots out attacks, but does it do damage? I have been lied to. Well, I'm not going to test the actual weapon, all right? I got to bring out a boss to test it. Let's bring out the Moon Lord, and let's see if we can kill the Moon Lord with the, the Xena toilet. Hold up. I need a rod in Discord. I need to be able to teleport. There he is. Uh, how do I do this? Boom. Okay, bad start. Boom. There goes the right eye. I'm coming for that left eye. Oh, my God. The damage is insane. The top eye. Wait. Boom. And last but not least is core. We really just witnessed greatness there. The Zenith Toilet, of course, coming out on top with all these other Zenith weapons. I honestly expected that. Make sure you guys check out all these mods. Shout out all the mod developers. I'll see y'all in the next video.